hello guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this short video lecture i will guide you for this rcc column especially its size and its steel reinforcement details with this combined footing which is designed for two-story commercial building so let's get start guys if you have any question related to this short video so you can comment i will respond to you before starting the video i will guide you guys you can see this is ground level okay natural soil level okay so before starting the steel reinforcement details they did pcc with the thickness of about three inches but there is uh, decreases no problem so here which ratio may be about 136 okay so here on the top of this guys you can see this is the steel reinforcement bit the depth is about 12 inches okay with concrete cover it should be 15 inches so now let me guide you for its steel reinforcement details i think they used here two types of dia the down one is 14 millimeter or you can say five number steel reinforcement and the upper one is 12 millimeter which is uh four number steel rod okay so if you see guys there we have the spacing in the bottom portion also in the upper portion 12 by 12 inches but if you see here this is the column place which size is about uh, you can say five by five feet okay in the five by five feet they did uh, the spacing center to center spacing uh, for this uh, bottom mesh which is six by six inches okay and they used here 14 millimeter die of steel rod if you see the upper portion and upper portion the die is 12 millimeters spacing is also 12 by 12 inches because this is for two-story residential building this is not a mega project so therefore you can see the steel reinforcement so now let me guide you for the size of column this is our cc column size is 12 by 12 inches with concrete cover but the ring size is nine by nine inches they used here 14 millimeter die of steel rod so this is uh, i think 40 grade steel rod okay so here if you see the dia this is 10 millimeter if you see the hooks should be bent on 135 degree they did on 90 degree okay so it should be on 135 degree because these hooks can't resist with earthquake okay so therefore i'm guiding you that it should be on 135 degree if you see the spacing is here six, uh, 10 inches okay so they will use here link tie because this is in progress this is not completed design here if you see the legs so the legs the legs are uh, already uh, buried with the, uh, the down one mesh okay you can see the length is 12 inches okay they used here eight numbers uh, numbers of steel rods so we have total eight numbers of steel rods dia is 14 millimeter okay you can see and the length of the leg is 12 inches you can see already bind it with the bottom mesh so these are its steel reinforcement details okay if you see uh, inside they will use the link tie then the spacing will be six uh, six inches okay so at the bottom portion six inches so if they are going to the upward side so they can increase up to eight inches okay so these are the details of steel reinforcement for this rcc column if you see guys here this is not individual footing because this is combined footing that's why because we have on this row if you see we have six numbers of columns okay so this is called combined footing and combined footing is economical compared to raft foundation okay and raft foundation for the entire area we are doing the pcc on the top of that pcc we are doing uh, the steel reinforcement with the spacing of any uh, number okay for the entire area but this is not entire area that's why because if you see this is open but where we have the columns on that positions we are doing its bit pcc which width is five feet and on the top of this you will see the steel reinforcement so hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye